backtesting, you're attempting to answer how your strategy would have performed in the past on a particular currency pair. It's like testing a car on a track before you set it loose on the open road. You have the opportunity to refine it and get it working the way you want. To access the backtesting functionality in MT4, first check that the strategy tester is visible. Go to the View, Strategy Test, or you can press Ctrl R. You need to specify the expert advisor that you wish to backtest, the symbol or currency pair, and the time frame. You then need to select a period for the backtest. How long depends on the type of strategy, but just bear in mind that a short period would not give solid results, and a long period could mean that it's not optimized to current market conditions. Select the use date, the start date, and the end date. Then you can simply press start and the EA will backtest with its default parameters. If you wish to configure what settings are used for the backtest, you can click on the expert properties. In the test tab you can select the initial deposit that will be used for the backtest as well as the currency traded and whether you want to allow your EA to trade in both directions or not. In the inputs tab you can specify all the external parameters that the EA allows you to set. In this case there are six parameters that the MACD sample allows you to set. The values that will be used for the backtest are all in the values column and all the other columns are only used for optimization. Once you are happy with your parameter settings, you can just click OK and start the backtest. You can have a look at the balance and equity graph of your backtest here. To view the results in detail, you can click on the Results tab. And to see the summary of the backtest results, you can click on Report. So here you can see the total net profit the profit factor, which is a ratio of gross profit divided by gross loss. The success ratio of this EA in backtest was 97%. In this case you can see that the strategy produced nearly 25% return in backtest and a 2.98 profit factor. However this was achieved with a drawdown of almost 12%. So the account was in loss by 12% at one point in the backtest and if you were trading the system on live you have to ask yourself if you really carried on trading if it made such a loss. To see how your EA behaved in more detail you can go back to settings and click on Open Chart. As you can see in this case the system trades when the MACD signal line crossed over the main histogram. You can either inspect the historical trades one by one or you can find the sections of the backtest you are interested in in the results section or the graph. In this case I'll go to the graph section again. and double click on the first losing trade that I see. And switch to the results tab and that will highlight the trade in question. If you then double click on that result, the chart above will shift and the trade action in question will be on the left hand side of the chart. As you can see the system does not always trade too smartly. In this case it sold at the very bottom of the market and then closed its trade at the very top of the move.